This year marks Medicaid's 50th anniversary. Health and Human Services Secretary Sylvia Burwell discussed the successes of the program at the National Association of Medicaid Directors Conference in Washington, D.C. The following are comments the Secretary made regarding Missouri's health homes. There's another role that Medicaid needs to continue to play, and it was mentioned earlier. That is the engine of transformation. We're in an exciting time in healthcare. As you know, for years, Americans struggled to navigate a healthcare system that has failed to put the patient first. Doctors have been paid for the amount of tests that they ordered, not the quality of care that patients receive. But over the last few years, there has been a growing consensus to change that. We have a plan to transform our system into one that works better for the American people. It's a system that delivers better care, spends our dollars more wisely, and puts patients at the center of their care. It builds on three strategies. First, we need to change the way we pay for care so that we encourage quality, not quantity. Second, we need to improve the way we deliver care. That means better coordination and more integration of health services. It means engaging the individual patient and empowering them to take control of their health decisions. It also means ensuring that beneficiaries can access care so that people can get the services they need to improve their health and well-being. And finally, we need to better organize and use data and health information in care settings. We need to increase transparency in cost and quality and make sure electronic health information is useful, both for the doctors and the providers, as well as the patients. We're working at the federal level to support these changes, but it's already happening in many of your all's programs. We've seen health home programs in 19 states in the District of Columbia. For example, Missouri's home health programs, according to recent analysis conducted by the state, these programs have helped create a 12.8% reduction in hospital admissions and an 8.2% reduction in emergency room use for health home enrollees.